Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for both Saturday and Sunday, March the 16th and 17th, 2024. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia, and I'm here to read for you the entry for these for the weekend from Hearing God Throughout the Year, a 365-day devotional written by Dallas Willard and Jan Johnson. The weekend devotional is entitled, Believing Whatever Comes. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. The Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 7, verse 7. People sometimes say, whatever comes is God's will, or everything happens for a reason. Oh, that last one makes me cringe sometimes. Although his view, this view brings peace of mind, it is flawed. Many things that happen are not God's will, even though God does not stop them. I'm going to read that one again. Many things that happen are not God's will, even though God does not stop them. For example, the Lord is not wanting anyone to perish but everyone to come to repentance. That's uh, Peter's second letter, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. But countless people don't repent. Just because something happens doesn't indicate that it's God's will. Besides, what happens is never just a matter of whatever comes. You contributed to it in some way. Not everything you choose to do is God's will, is it? We have an indispensable role to play in God's world. The issue is not simply what God wants, but also what we want. Regarding many things, God will is that we should determine what will happen. What a child does when not told what to do is the final indicator of what and who that child is. And so it is for us and our Heavenly Father. Reflect on this. Have you been passively accepting whatever happens as God's will? Have you lacked confidence in God or lacked initiative in asking Him for what you believe to be good or for understanding about what He wants to involve, about how He wants to involve you? My dear friends, as always, I thank you for spending a couple of minutes out of your day listening to me read a devotional reflection from Hearing God Throughout the Year by Dallas Willard and Jan Johnson. I'm placing the right materials in the description for this video so that you can do that reflective follow-up. And I pray that you'll spend some time this weekend doing that. I also pray that you'll be with me again on Monday when I'll return with the next entry from Hearing God Throughout the Year. Until then... May you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and may you have a most blessed and holy Sunday.